The Membership Options page is where a customer is initially sent to buy a membership. It's the page where you display the benefits and options for memberships. The design we'll use here is a table with membership levels, benefits, and PayPal buttons at the bottom. For this, we'll use the Web Simon Table plugin we installed in the plugins video. If you haven't installed this plugin, then watch the plugins video before continuing. This plugin installs under the Tools Admin panel. Navigate to Tools and click on the Web Simon Tables. To start, enter a name in the Name field. This is used as a reference and is not part of the table design. At this point, you'll need to know how many levels of membership you want and the benefits for each level. This site will have four levels and show six benefits. We can start with a five-column layout with one row. We'll add rows or columns as needed. Enter one for rows and five for columns and click the Add Table button to create the table. The new table will be listed in the All Tables table. Locate the table and click the Edit Table Content link. It's on this screen where we design and maintain the Membership Options page table. Plain text or graphics can be used in the design. The table for this membership site will have graphics on the header and plain text for the benefits with a graphic check mark to indicate the benefit for the level and PayPal buttons for payment. Graphic table headers, the benefits check, and the free sign up button have been provided and are also available for download at theroseapplemedia.com. Graphic images for the table will need to be in properly formatted HTML. We'll be using a WordPress page to generate this HTML code. Navigate to All Pages and click to open a new tab in the browser. We'll need to switch back and forth from the table to the page to copy the code we need. Locate the Membership Options page that was created earlier and click the Edit link. We'll use this page to generate the properly formatted HTML for the images. Click the Upload icon at the top of the Editor screen to open the download screen. Click the Select Files and navigate to the Membership Images folder that you downloaded. These are PNG files and can be loaded in an image editor and changed to fit your site's needs. There's also a blank button so you can customize the image even more. Locate the settings image and click the open button to start the download. When the image information screen appears, the link URL can be deleted. This prevents someone from clicking the image and being redirected and distracted. Make sure the full size is selected and click the insert into post button. When you return to the page screen, you'll have properly formatted HTML to insert in the table header. Click the HTML tab at the top right of the editor. Select the code and copy. Now navigate back to the table screen. If you opened a tab, then click on that tab. Now paste the code in the proper box. For the first image, this will go in the second table header box. The first is the column for the list of benefits, and this will not have a header image. Click the Save Table Content button. A preview is available if you scroll to the bottom of the table screen. You'll see the table with the images on the header and the footer. We'll format that later when we add the PayPal buttons. Repeat this for the other heading images. Delete any remaining code. Click the Upload icon. Select the file. Delete the link URL, check the size for full, and click the Insert in the Post button. Copy the code, switch to the table screen, and copy the code in the appropriate box and click the Save Table Content button. You can stop this video at any time by clicking anywhere on the screen, and when finished, click again to continue the video. Now for the benefits. This is where we can use the check to indicate the benefit levels. Repeat the above process for the check mark image.
Once the code is copied, we can use it several times in the table. Navigate back to the Edit Table screen and type the first benefit for the first membership option in the first column in Roll 1, like WordPress Settings video. Now for the check. Since this is a benefit for the Settings level in Column 2, we can copy the check for that level in the next box. That will be the only benefit for this level of membership. Click the Save Table Content and you'll get an idea of what we're doing. And now it's a matter of entering a benefit and copying the check mark to match the benefit level. Click the right direction arrow in row 1 to add a new benefit row. Enter a new benefit, copy the check to match the benefit, and repeat the process. Our benefits are WordPress settings videos, WordPress membership site building videos, WordPress e-commerce site building videos, WordPress advanced videos, a graphics image package, and advanced site building videos. For the row before the Payments button, we'll enter the price of each level. Add a new row and enter the pricing description under each of the levels. Free for our free level, $4.95 trial and a $19.95 monthly reoccurring fee for the membership and e-commerce levels, and a $29.95 reoccurring fee for the premium level. Click the Save Table Content button. And finally, we can place the free sign-up image in the PayPal buttons. Add a new row, navigate to the Membership Options page tab, delete any remaining code, and click the Upload icon and locate the sign-up image. Click Open to download. When the image information screen appears, we're going to delete the URL and add a different URL. Since this is for free members, there's no payment, so we direct these members directly to the registration screen. To do this, enter slash wp-login.php question mark action equals register. Click the insert into post button, copy the code, and paste it in the row for the settings level. Click the Save Table Content button. When this image is clicked, the customer will be taken to the register screen. Now for the PayPal buttons. Navigate to S2 Members PayPal button and open a new tab so we can switch back and forth to paste code. We created these buttons on a previous video, so we only need to copy and paste to the appropriate table box. Select Level 1. Near the bottom of the panel is the button code. We can't use the short code because it will not display properly in the table, so we use the code instead. Place the mouse cursor over the code and click Select All, and when it's highlighted, click Copy. Navigate back to the table and paste the code in the appropriate table box, and click Save Table Content. Navigate back to PayPal Button's code and select Level 2, and repeat the process. Do the same for the other levels. When finished and saved, you can then customize this table to fit your site by selecting the table and then clicking the Edit Table Structure and Styles. On this screen, you can choose a different skin or even a custom skin to fit your site colors. You can hide the footer, or remove the header, or even hide or show the horizontal and vertical lines. There's even an option for a hover effect. Make sure you click the Save Table Settings button after making any changes.
The final step is placing the short code in the Membership Options page. Copy the short code at the top of the table, navigate to All Pages, and locate the Membership Options page. And paste the short code in the table, and click the Update button. Preview the page, and make any adjustments to the table. The short code will remain the same even after edits to the table. You only need to change the short code if you want a different table to appear on this page. Theme choices will affect the way the table looks. This is the Suffusion theme with no sideboard layout, page title turned off, and comments and trackbacks turned off. Congratulations! You have completed the Membership Options page. You may want to test the PayPal buttons in Developer Mode before going live.